Hello, welcome to this one-off video that I'm doing. Um, I did the UK DFBA last weekend on the 17th of October and I thought it would be useful because I have had a couple of people say to me and also it's useful for me going forward. So I'm going to go through my show day slash like backstage bag so what I take on the day I highly highly recommend getting a I've got it down here that's <laughs> why I'm looking um like a pull along trolley because it means you don't it's really easy like lightweight to pull you don't need to worry about like if you've got like a strap bag it messing up your tan or anything like that so I took two bags with me. I took this little pull-along bag which I ended up putting all my um, stuff that I took on the day and because it folds out it's a bit easier to see everything and then I also took a little duffel bag for the weekend which had like my like toiletries and cl normal clothes and whatnot in it and I have quite an extensive <laughs> list here that I'm going to refer to just to make sure that I cover everything and similarly I have created a Google Doc which I will link to in, in the description box um, so if you have got like the Google Drive app it means that you can also access that I think you can like save it just in case there's loads of people trying to use the same doc um, and then tick it off or copy it or whatever so let's go we will start with the Shosey bag and then I'll also quickly go through like food and drink that I take um, and any extras or miscellaneous stuff. So, first thing, if you're a girl, it is your bikini. And I take two, so just in case there is any touch wood, any issues. And I've also, I don't have it with me, but I'll put somewhere on the screen and I'll also link to where I can anything that I mention. But you can get like a bikini protective case. I have just separated mine. I actually put them in the little bags that my um, shoes came in. But um, yeah, bikini is obviously important. If you are, if you're a guy, then obviously your trunks. But um, trunks, pants. Um, so I have got that. I've also got just in case like anything happens. As I say, I packed my, this is just my posing practice bikini, but you never know in case something happened, like something snapped or, or whatever. Um, so they are there. If I was, um, we drove down, but if I was flying to a location, I would make sure that I had all my must-haves in the case that I was going to take as my carry-on because you know how these things can, can go missing. So that's the bikini. Also another two pairs so of your shoes. So these are the pair that I wore on stage and then we have got a backup pair. So I should have said I got my bikini from Miss Bikini Fitness. As I mentioned earlier on I will link to everything that I can um, just in case you are interested. These are my second pair of shoes. Um, I actually got these like last year or maybe even before that when competing was just a pie in the sky idea for me but I wanted to um, and I've never actually worn them but they're so pretty um, but I wanted to set myself that, that goal um, so shoes then this isn't unnecessary but it's just a nice to have I actually got a robe um, and this has got Mission Melanie on it <laughs> um, but I also took along, and I don't have it in the bag because I think they're in the wash, but like a really big pair of like oversized like joggies and a, like a hoodie or something. So I wore that, like my joggies and my hoodie, or a baggy t-shirt I think it was, to the location and then I got changed into my uh, bikini relatively last minute. It's just personal preference. Some girls I know like to like wear the bikini there just so it's like one less stress or something to think about but um, I then put this on afterwards because I wanted to get some like personal pictures taken like outside the venue and whatever. Um, I think I got that on Etsy or something. You just search for like satin 
personalised robe or something. They're quite easy to get. Um, this is a little folder. Again, it's not necessarily because most things you can have on your phone, but I'm a bit pernickety that way. It's basically just like a, it's all my paperwork. I had just went through, printed off the emails, like highlighted all the need to know information because again, the closer you get to a competition, you get very brain fault. <laughs> and sometimes it's good just to have it all um, as clear as possible. So I have a mixture of like the specific like competition information. I had all my like refeed, not my refeeds, my peak week info, like what I had to eat and when. Um, and even things like this very first one was when I went through and I worked out what I needed to or what I would be eating during peak week and so how much of each I would need to buy. So for example I had to get 800 grams of tofu. So um, then we've got a towel because sometimes when you come off stage if you are it's really hot under the lights so before you put like clothes or whatever on it's just good to have something to mop yourself up with. Similarly, I've just got a plastic bag in case you need to put any of your like old clothes in it or whatever. This is jewellery, my stage jewellery. So, oops, so we've got a tangled mess. Um, earrings and a cuff and some other earrings. Again, it's always good to have spares. Face mask because we had to wear the mask onto stage and I just got a sparkly one because it's cute and um, Susan who runs Miss Bikini Fitness is actually making me one to match my suit for my next show. A little sewing kit because again you never know what's going to happen. I don't have it in here but I would also suggest something like super glue um, just in case anything happens to your shoes or anything like that. A resistance band for pre pump up when you're backstage. Sugary sweeties. Um, I've got two bags here. You wouldn't obviously eat two bags, but um, I would also have in this grapes. So grapes and a couple of um, sugary sweets just to, because it can be a long day and when you're running on adrenaline, it's good to have a little bit of sugar. It also helps kind of pump you up a bit. Kini Bite, which I didn't actually have on the day and I ended up borrowing from one of the girls that was there and it's actually amazing. It's essentially like a glue that you roll on to your skin and this can be used by both guys and girls and it just helps stop your bikini or your briefs move. Wipes because flip flops just for again like before and after. <laughs> this one is an interesting one. It's a shiwi. So um, when you have your tan on, it can smudge really, really easily. Yeah. <laughs> More girl specific stuff. Tampon, lip gloss, um, Pro Plus, which I took about 15 minutes before going on stage, just again to kind of perk you up. For afterwards, these are so important, rehydration sachets, because on the day you, I think you drink like a maximum of like a litre, so you're very dehydrated, so these are important. And then, anti-back hand gel. Need I say any more? And um, else have we got here? Oh, t-shirt, talking about t-shirts. These I got because some of the, um, like the shoes are very very smooth and I'm clumsy enough at the best of times so these are just basically little like grips like shoe grips and put on the bottom of your shoes other things are a battery pack and the cable like for your phone so because of the way things are with Covid like they don't really want you in the venue any later or longer rather than you need to be so it's not really the same as previous competitions where you would maybe be at a venue like all day um, and there was a chance that your phone battery would, would run out but it's always better to be safe than sorry so phone battery, cable and a charger plug thing. Oh also in here talking about water you would also have like your bottle of water so I just got bought like a one litre bottle um, and sipped on that 
for the full day. Also for your tan, if you get, depending on the venue or the tanning company, some people or some companies will, um, like A1 tans, did our tan before the show, but the next show I'm doing, they are not, there isn't anyone going to be doing tan, so you have to do your own tan. So um, I am going to include a little like tanning bag that will have like my like um, like tan and mitt and whatever for any like touch ups and also the glaze and things. So that would that would be included. And then in terms of out with like show day, so what else you might want to pack in your everyday bag? Um, very important things like your chocolate and post show treats. So I have. Um, put them in the freezer because I don't want to because I will eat them um, I have got some Rocky Road and brownies from Nat's Kitchen you also want to remember your meals so your meal prep um, water um, I've also got things here like an air fryer which is obviously not necessary and it's kind of bulky and if you were going on a flight you wouldn't take it but it's I'm going to take it when I'm staying in the apartments for the next show because when it gets to like day five, six of eating plain potatoes and you can't put salt or um, sauce on them, you kind of want to do anything you can to make them appetising. <laughs> um, tea bags, very important, and milk. Uh, also things like scales. So, for like for your foods, so what I actually, we, we, pre-weighed and packed all my food so I didn't really need to use scales but I'm going to take, I found these little ones on Amazon, it's basically like foldable scales so I thought just in case I will take them. Another thing, so some people I've seen recommending that you take a sheet because of your tan so your tan doesn't rub off on like the bedding and whatever and I'm like it's, it, I don't understand because it's still going to rub off on the duvet cover. So <laughs> I take a full on duvet and pillow um, covers. Like, I got this for like a tenner from Asda, so it's not exactly. It doesn't cost the earth. Um, and although I ended up having to sleep in this duvet cover because, ironically, I forgot the actual sheet. So I need to take that next time. But, um yeah that's a good one to save you any extra charges from wherever you're staying um, so your skincare because you want to be that includes like face and body because you want to be prepping your skin as far in advance as possible also a tan remover and mitt to try and help you get as much tan off as possible because from my experience it sticks like a bugger <laughs> um, and it can also be really drying on your skin a razor for any last minute torch ups clothes generally so travel clothes clothes for if you're going out after the competition and you want to dress up a little bit um, underwear pyjamas I would recommend if you when you're sleeping and you're tan getting a long sleeve top that just a really really plain one, nothing more like buttons or zips or anything like that and um, as I say baggy trousers and things like cosy socks because you when you're at that low level of body fat you're always freezing and our apartment was like my poor mum was melting because our apartment was roasting because all the, the heaters were on because we were we were cold um, so like cosy socks and slippers and then things like makeup, hairbrush, um, tooth, tooth brush and paste, um, all your chargers for all your electricals, supplements, so in, it varies from person to person but in my peak week like all my supplements like my vitamins, minerals, creatine, anything like that was taken out so after the competition um, I could start taking them again so pack them and just things like a laptop in case you want to watch like Netflix or whatever else and I think that is that and you know these are always nice to pack too <laughs> thank you so much for watching I will see you all again soon
just that an app update or software update. It's confused me. Anyway. Right. I'm back.